So let's put a bunch of these ideas together now. So to assess the fitness of American college students, a researcher randomly selects four of the night class sections at a local community college and asks everyone in those classes to do as many sit-ups as possible in one minute. On average, they could do 14 sit-ups. So first off, what is the sample? So the sample is the students in those, in those four classes. So the students in those four classes represent the sample of the study. Now the intended population of this study was American college students. Or at least that was the stated, uh, that was the stated, uh, population of the study. Again, the intended study. We'll talk about whether that's actually a good, um, population I in a second. So what was our sampling method? So notice here that they took four classes and asked everyone in those classes to do these sit-ups. So this is an example of cluster sampling, uh, because we're dividing all the college students up into classes. We're picking four of those classes and asking everyone in those classes to participate. Is this an observational study or an experiment? This is somewhat debatable here, because while we are subjecting our, our people to do something, we're really just observing how many times they can do sit-ups. So one could argue either way here. Uh, I'm a little more inclined towards saying that this is an observational study because we're observing how many times they can do sit-ups. But if you said experiment, uh, personally, I would be okay with that. Uh, is it controlled? This is suggesting that it's an experiment. Is it a controlled experiment? Uh, nope. Uh, placebo controlled? Nope, no placebos. Blind, double blind? Nope and no, because we don't have a control group and so mm, people don't need to not know what group they're in. They're in the do sit-ups group. Uh, there's only one group here. So the data that we're collecting, is it categorical, quantitative? We're, p we're calculate, we're recording how many sit-ups they can do, that's going to be a number, and we can do calculations with that number, so this is quantitative data. Is it a parameter, or is it a statistic? Well, it's information about our sample, and so that means it is a statistic. Remember, parameters talk about the population. Lastly, are there any potential sources of bias in this study? Absolutely. The really, really big one is sampling bias. Remember, sampling bias is where the sample is not representative of the population. In this case, uh, students from uh, night sections at a local community college are probably not very representative of the average American college students. Night students at community colleges tend to be returning adults going back to school uh, after being in the workforce and we're probably going to have an average age that is higher than uh, the typical American college student if we include university students and students who are going to college directly out of high school. So it's very unlikely that this sample is truly representative of the intended population. Uh, so sampling bias is a big issue in this study.